trapeze. Um, first of all, I think this is a very good, excellent movie. And I really don't see why it's not um, um, remembered in some way. It, it seems to be uh, destined to obscurity. And in fact, I don't know if you are watching this, which is unlikely, but uh, if you try to see it, um, I... Uh, we had it on a, an obscure uh, channel here, so I, I don't know how and if this is available. True, you can find anything now, Amazon, uh, you order and then... But uh, I'm just saying it requires some effort, probably. Burt Lancaster, definitely one of the legends, one of the most powerful, um, vibrant, um, imposing, um, unforgettable actors ever. Uh, strong, especially in this movie, we see him in, in a physical role and we see him in the costume of the trapeze artist and we see how well built he was without, uh, <laughs> surely without uh, uh, using steroids, like the very stable genius who's feeling so wonderful because he's on, on medication uh, after he had the coronavirus. Anyway, uh, let's uh, move away from this uh, horrifying, uh, vile subject. Um, and uh, so um, generous, uh, I understand, so special as a human being. I've read in what I'm beginning to think is the Bible of, of uh, the screen trade of, of cinema. Adventures in the Screen Trade by William uh, Goldman uh, about um, something he said about Montgomery Clift uh, that his, his knees were shaking when he saw Montgomery Clift another god of cinema so uh, that had that stayed in my head that's why I can tell you fictional you that uh, quote um, well, it's not exactly a quote, but I'm just saying how I remember it from the book. Um, because you have this uh, man, this artist who, who is generating so much energy. You, you can see he's such a force of nature uh, and of culture and of art, of cinema. And to hear him say he was... Uh, overwhelmed by Montgomery Clift gives you an idea about, as I said, his generosity, his modesty, and the force of Montgomery Clift. In Trapeze, he's acting with uh, uh, Tony Curtis, another magician, not master. Uh, And Gina Lolo Brigida. Uh, Tony Cortis is, uh, um, I'm thinking some like it hot and I can't take it away from my mind. But I'm hesitating because I don't want to really make this note about other movies when it's supposed to uh, be about trapeze. <coughs> Tony Cortis is Tino and Gina Lolo Brigida is Lola. Whereas uh, Burt Lancaster is Mike. Mike is in a bad way now. He's, he's, uh, he has to use a stick when he moves. Uh, he has had an accident. And one leg is in, 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 in a... He has a problem with it. But still, the force is there. He is a trapeze artist. Uh, flyer, expert, and he wants to work with, with Tony Curtis, with Tino, who is um, 
an extraordinary talent and the only one who can do a triple jump, a triple uh, figure with something extremely difficult and only a few, perhaps only one now can do in a circus. Now, there is something negative we must mention here there are some there are some quite some scenes um, which remind us the way it used to be both with humans because uh, for instance at one point they take the net the protection the net in which uh, uh, the acrobats uh, would find uh, safety if they fall and thus they are exposed to death, falling from uh, very high up there. And uh, the vicious owner, boss of the circus, uh, does that. He, wa he wants to put a stop to the act, but still, uh, it's something uh, inconceivable today when circuses are on the way out because of the animals. The animals, there's a scene with a lion where Mike is very brave, but then we see the way they train the animals, which was they hurt them. They had uh, uh, forks, they had all, all kinds of ways to inflict pain and make them do what they were told or else. So that's, that's, that's um, a side of the movie that uh, we don't go for anymore, at least. I mean, it, it, uh, humans had a, well, still have, uh, uh, they still eat animals and so on, but that's, that's changing, at least with the circuses, as I said. Animals are forbidden in, in the civilized world, are forbidden in circuses uh, in many places now. Um, so, there is a love triangle there between the three. Uh, there is also a, a situation in which they can work together or maybe they can uh, the men can uh, lose their friendship, lose their uh, work connection um, because when Lola arrives uh, she first tries to talk with Mike, but he's not. He's, he doesn't want. Uh, he, he's. It's this also this conflict between uh, uh, duty and passion, between the mind and the heart. Let's say he, he's very concentrating on his work. He wants Tino to do this act, and they, so they they should do them do it together. But when the woman comes in, their relationship their relationship may break apart. There is also love. She tells, Lola tells Nino that she loves him. But does she? Maybe she's in love with Mike. Mike is very, um, that's another aspect that might change. Well, it, it's true, he's also transforming himself in the movie. Um, but with these decades that have passed, uh, that attitude is, sexist and uh, uh, anybody can have her forget about her leave her out of this we we have to stick together he tells mike tells tino that will come back to haunt him because he may fall in love with her let's let's assume you're watching this and you want to try and find this movie and so let's not say all that happens let's leave some question marks there but he may fall in love with her and uh, eventually maybe he will change his mind about her role, her in insignificance. Uh, this, uh, uh, I was going to say uh, extinct, but it's not in so many places uh, in the world. Uh, Saudi Arabia comes to mind and places like that where the attitude towards women is basically that of Mike. Uh, For quite some time, he feels she's she's unworthy. She doesn't have a place. She's what 
would she do? She would just affect the act and so on. Uh, but as I said, maybe that will change in the movie.